most challenging part of the crucible is uh, that second day. That second day after they, uh, they're on that enormous high on that hike out to the crucible and they're looking forward to that first day. So the first day pretty much goes off uh, without any problems, without any issues. But it's that second day after that four hour nap that they get when they wake up that they're so slow, lethargic, they're not thinking properly. They, uh, they may not get the counts down the right way or have a great plan in place. What's your plan? Plan. Put a, to throw the rope over with the barrel tied on. Get it. There you go. There you go. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Now you just have to figure out how we're gonna get Rodriguez. There you go. Yes. Yes. All right. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Yeah. Time. 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 How they do? A lot of ideas. A lot of good ideas. It was a little bit too late, though, as far as the time's concerned. So, but they they had the gist of it towards the end. They know exactly. They know exactly how to get it through. Get your weapons. Most challenging part of the crucible would be the movement to contact and the ammo resupply points. You gotta to work together, you have a fire team that you have to get to the end and then you also have, you know, you're doing the low crawl and then the ammo resupply and whatnot. One of the most challenging parts of the recruits is definitely the uh, the hike back for the recruits. The, uh, these recruits, uh, depending on what groups they are put into, um, certain days are, are a little bit a little bit more rigorous than others. Um, depending on what they do on the first day or the second day, uh, either way it goes. On that last day that they leave there, they went through everything. They ran the gauntlet as far as physically, mentally, everything is going to be there. They have they have been pushed to their limits, and now they're going to put all their gear on. You know, they have to hike back that, the, uh, the distance back to, uh, to the Iwo Jima Monument. Through my mind, I, uh, during, the, during the Eagle of an Acre ceremony, I feel a, a sense of pride, of, a very strong sense of pride that I am, I am handing possibly the next Commandant of the Marine Corps, the possibly the next Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps, their Eagle of an Anchor, that I am going to be forever ingrained in someone's, in someone's history, in someone's mind that I've given myself 100% at all times, and I've made a Marine. third graduation we've been to. And how many people in your family are in the Marine Corps? There are three who have been. One is uh, a Marine vet now, he's out. And two, one uh, graduated in June and one graduating tomorrow. Oh, we couldn't play. Oh my God, here, we gotta go. We gotta move. <laughs> Best memories, honestly, is uh, family day and graduation day, honestly, because you get, you know, the families that come up, they see their son or, or, or daughter for the 4th for the Battalion, they come up, they see him. A lot of the males, I've, I have males that weren't fat when they got here, but still lost 20, 25 pounds. 
their their cut, their their you know more physique and the, the way they act and whatnot. You'll get the parents, they they kind of not in a bad way, but they're like, "What did you do to my son?" You know, and then they come up and thank you. That's that's the biggest impact when you get the families. You know, thank you for what you've done. That's that's the biggest impact that I remember here. I, uh, as far as a Marine down here, I've learned that as far as uh, putting out day to day, it's to give 100%, no matter what, no matter how big or how small, your recruits, your Marines are going to feed off of you. If you come out and you give 110% and you, you don't accept anything else and you show them that attention to detail, that you're going to strive to do the best, to make things better than, than, than what they were before, to make a difference, that's the biggest thing that I've noticed. I think for me personally, I think there was always something when I'm growing up and uh, personally in my life, I think there was always something, I've always wanted to do great things. I've always wanted to make a difference somehow, some way. I always wanted to, you know, it might sound corny or whatever, but do something to change the world, you know? Do something to, to make a difference in society. Um, for myself, I think that one of the things that, that um, kind of helped me out as far as being a stronger man, a stronger individual for being down here was I, I lost one of my uh, parents at a very young age. So I was forced to kind of grow up and uh, mature very quickly. And I think that's essentially what we do down here with some of these young Marines the, uh, that we have down here. Um, we uh, take them and make them uh, a, a lot more. It's night and day, the maturity level that they are when they leave here. And I think that's one of the biggest things is them overcoming a very hard a hardship in their life. And recruit training is just one of them. So, so far um, in your job here, you've been here a bit over a year, I guess. Um, is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Uh, it's worth the sacrifice. It's definitely worth the sacrifice. Definitely. Why? Just the, the, the overall, uh, sense of accomplishment, I guess. Just to, to to go from something I really never wanted to do, honestly. I, 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 at the beginning, I never really wanted to be a drill instructor. And then when you first get here, you're like, wow, did I make the right decision to, you know, becoming the senior drill instructor and seeing, you know, the overall product from the beginning, not just having to worry about, okay, his fingers aren't curled uh, and, you know, he's not uh, responding the right way. I mean, I still, resp still worry about it, but not to the extent that my you know, my heavy and my, my third head worry about it. And just seeing overall how, this kind of watching, supervising, seeing how they are in the beginning, how they end, how they transition, and how we, we really make Marines.